Hello my bags, it's Jade. Welcome to an Art Survive Evolved Community Crunch Roundup. As you can tell, maybe there isn't that much news to go on as the Community Crunch once again is not up on a Tuesday as it normally is or Monday late night, depending on where you are in the world. Now we do have some information though. Said spoke to me. I got a response from Wildcard. Where have you seen that clickbait title before? But it's true, we have got some information about when we're gonna expect the Arc Genesis release date. It's looking likely it's gonna be this week we're gonna get some sort of news. And obviously if you had problems over the weekend playing Arts 5 or Evolved, well, it's still going to continue. There's no end in sight for the problems that were causing it. It doesn't look like it's just Wildcard, though. A bunch of other games had problems on social media. They were reporting them all, saying that they had issues connecting to multiplayer services. So all that in a very short video today. Let's go. So pretty much every Monday night, I have to face the decision. Do I go to bed and get up early to do the community crunch or do I stay up and try and capture it? But we never know exactly when it's gonna drop, although it's normally around 12 or 1 a.m. in the morning for me. Said tweeted an innocuous good morning and I said, please, for the love of gods, give an estimate of when the crunch is gonna be posted so I can either stay up late or go to bed. This is because we're obviously expecting some sort of Genesis news with only like 10 days away now from the end of January. Said said the crunch won't have any juicy deets this week, but that doesn't mean there won't be news at some point this week. I don't want to keep you waiting for a letdown. Obviously, this brought a lot of replies and heat, and I was just grateful that meant that I could go to bed and do this video this morning. Obviously, this did cause a lot of people to ask what's going on, though. How can we not have a release date when it's only 10 days away? So it's looking likely that ARK maybe not be getting this DLC out in the next 10 days. It could be delayed again. But the most important thing is we are going to get that either confirmation this week. As said says here, that doesn't mean there won't be news at some point this week. So I'm fully expecting by Friday we'll know when exactly Genesis is going to be coming out. Now it's not that unusual not to have it in the community crunch. Generally, uh, dates for like updates or free content like Valguero, that often gets put in the community crunch. Or if they're delaying it even more, they actually normally put that in the community crunch rather than spread it out on social media on Twitter. So obviously they don't generally tweet out that they're gonna be delaying the DLC. So I'm taking it for a good thing that we're not actually getting any news in the community crunch. And hopefully it means that they're gonna just say it's gonna be up and running on January the 28th. That's still the date that I do believe Genesis is still going to come out. It's a Tuesday. If it's not that date, it will be the 4th of February. And if it's not them dates, then damn Wildcard, what have you been doing? You've already delayed the DLC once. No one puts pressure on Wildcard to do this, by the way, guys. Just a heads up. I've seen a few comments saying, you know, oh, better to have the game delayed or DLC delayed and, and actually working. And that would be true. You've seen a bunch of other games that I've been reporting on, like Dying Light 2 being delayed, Cyberpunk being delayed. But lots of them games have money in the bank, i.e. they look like they're going to get worked on, they're going to have bug fixes done to them, and when they do release, they'll probably be really good games. But not one single DLC has launched in a really, really 100% way. Every DLC they've ever launched has been broken, buggy, or just problems with it. And I'm not talking small. Extinction obviously had the huge nodes, the element nodes, that were literally destroying bases for weeks on PC. There were problems with aberration, resource gathering and connection issues. And Scorched Earth, who could forget the huge disease that pretty much took everyone out as they didn't turn off swamp disease and there was no way to cure it on Scorched Earth, not to mention a bunch of other connection issues. It's really hard. This is a live game. Lots of big companies get it wrong all the time, like Destiny, Rockstar. So it's not like Wildcard have to be better than them. But this is like their third DLC. It's going to be like their fifth or sixth map they're launching. How many times can you get something so wrong? And the last thing I would say is, just do what I've always suggested. If you think you're going to have the DLC ready by the end of January, put the end of release put the release date as the end of February. That gives you a whole extra month to do small polish issues, test it, find stuff out, plan a proper beta. Instead, Wildcard give themselves a shortest amount of time possible thinking they're gonna get it, or they simply just don't care that they're delaying it once more. There's no problem with delays when it only happens a few times, but when you keep selling content and pre-ordering content, and every single one of them has been delayed, you've got to fix up and change your strategy. Anyway, just a little bit of a moan. I'm not, I'm not on a negative tip today. I'm feeling pretty good. 
So fingers crossed we will get the Genesis release date this week or some sort of news saying it's been delayed. Let me know in the comments, release or delay, just pop that in the comment section. Okay, so over the weekend, as I said, there was a big problem with issues on Xbox particularly, but it does seem like it was PS4 as well. No one could join servers. There was a whole bunch of issues and problems, but it wasn't just Wildcard that were affected. Xbox themselves putting out tweets on their support twi uh, Twitter pages saying that there were lots of issues at the moment. And while that got resolved, it seems like a lot of game companies also still had problems correcting or fixing their end. I'm not too really sure who's to blame as a lot of the companies haven't actually referenced that it's Microsoft's fault, and you think they probably would want to do that to take the heat off them. So any news about an update this week, I will be back with a small tiny video giving you a heads up of what to expect and the patch notes that fix it. Fingers crossed we will get the fixes needed so you can keep connecting, or if it's already fixed or resolved, let me know. I'm presuming that whatever's happening will be on their side, so we might not need an actual big update. But once again, it does strengthen the case that Wildcard should stop updating the game on Fridays. This is the second week they've done this, and it's the second week there's been problems and issues all weekend. Some of you may have been lured in by some horrendous clickbait, and I'm not talking about Loaded Crisis. PlayStation Universe gave a little small news feature saying that Art Genesis was going to be out on the 31st of January. I mean, look at the ads on this. It's literally like watching Loaded Cancer. PlayStation Universe is not a reputable site. They generally rip off other articles and just pop them on their own. It's all just designed to get clicks and obviously promise advertising so they can rake in some money. This ain't no Kotaku. If you see something from PlayStation Universe, it's definitely been ripped off from someone else or it's just simply clickbait. And maybe they realize they've gone a step too far in announcing a release date when no one else has spoke about it at all as they updated their article to say that they have not actually got that right and that Wildcard had officially not commented on the actual potential release date other than it being the end of January. But of course, you know there's gonna be a bunch of clickbait out there saying that the game's coming on the 31st. I mean, it's not out the realms of possibility. If you wanna stay up to date with the most recent news and you don't want to have to listen to me, go and follow the arcdevotracker.com. This is where I get a lot of news and information from because it collates everything the devs are doing publicly. Not all of them, you don't have to be included in the tracker, you can be removed if you ask nicely. It's been created by someone, a third party, but in the past they have responded and removed people from being mentioned. But this is what I use, this is what a lot of other people use. Back in the day before this, I would literally scroll through everyone's replies, all the devs, all the community managers, hoping to find some new info. Or come and join my Discord. We've got some great guys that are always bang on it. The minute we find out any news, whether it's clickbait, a lie, or potentially true, we always post it in here. Even on Saturday, I was saying that PlayStation Universe are massive clickbaiters, but I did also say that could work out. Jeremy said there was going to be some sort of beta. Now, we've not heard any more news since then and said didn't confirm nor deny there was going to be a beta. We know the game is running right now, they're testing it out on the servers, but that doesn't mean it's going to be a public beta. Maybe they're going to do what they tried doing with other releases and they're going to have a streamer weekend and then release the DLC. And so the 31st is a Friday? And so I could imagine that they would do something like that, have a weekend for streamers, and then release it on a Tuesday. But after today's tweet from said, I am definitely not as confident in that. I think we're going to get news this week that it's going to launch next Tuesday. And who knows, maybe the streamer weekend or YouTuber weekend will be this weekend. I really hope that's not the case either. Please don't gate off content just to sell and promote stuff. This isn't an update you're trying to just draw up some support in. This is DLC you've actually got people buying season passes for. It should be open to everyone who's bought the season pass to be able to play the beta, not just some privileged dickheads on YouTube. But anyway, none of that is confirmed. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully this week we'll get some more news. And that is it, guys. A quick, brief video today. As ever, when there is news to give you, I will be there first with the most concise. I will offer you my opinion. But you'll always know I'm not going to be milking it just for the views. Make sure you're locked in. Make sure you're subscribed. You've got notification bell ticked. And don't forget, I have got Arc Genesis servers. They are going to be up and running as soon as DLC goes live. You need to join Discord and look out for when I add the server channels. The password will be put in the pin section and that's how you can join. So until then, Ratbags, laters.